With right tackle Brian O'Neill dealing with a significant calf injury suffered on Sunday's game versus the Green Bay Packers, he's been placed on IR. Season likely over. Backup center Austin Schlotman also placed on IR. Garrett Bradbury, the jury is still out. The Minnesota Vikings offensive line is in shambles. Now back to offensive tackle. You're without Blake Brando after he tore his MCL. You have available Christian Derisaw, Ole Udo as your starters, Vidarian Lowe as a backup, and that's it. And with that, the Vikings made a move this afternoon, signing former LA Rams offensive tackle Bobby Evans. He's been signed to the Vikings practice squad. Gotta imagine he'll soon be elevated to the 53-man roster for depth. Minnesota, they certainly need it on the offensive line. Kevin O'Connell, current Vikings head coach, former OC with the Rams, so one would surmise that he's certainly familiar with Bobby Evans. Third round pick in 2019, fourth year in the league. 12 total starts for his career so far. He's mixed in at guard as well. Just got cut by the Rams last week. Hopefully, it never gets to the point where we're relying on this dude to take over at right tackle. I would honestly rather take my chances with Ole Udo. Poor technique. Football IQ might be the lowest in the league. Makes it too easy for pass rushers to simply skip on by him without giving any sort of resistance. But I get it. Injuries are piling up on the offensive line. You need to make emergency signings. This, at best is a depth move for the Vikings in the playoffs. Vikings signed another offensive lineman, but not to the practice squad, this time to the active roster. Center Greg Manch, eighth season since going undrafted in 2015 out of Toledo, spent his first six years with the Houston Texans. And since that time, he's dabbled with Baltimore, Miami, Buffalo, Cleveland, mostly on their practice squads. 32 career starts now. With Manch, I will say this, with Austin Schlotman on IR, Garrett Bradbury, we don't know what's going to happen with him. Chris Reed, not knowing when to snap the ball on time. Greg Manch, the one start he got this year with Buffalo versus the Miami Dolphins, that was in week three. For what the Vikings need at center and being desperate this late into the season, one week away from playoffs, this was a good move by Quasi Adolfo Mensa. This was a solid signing, all things considered. This is a situation to where I think Greg Manch has what it takes for the center position to get by. Either that or force Chris Reed to be better prepared. And in his defense, getting suddenly pulled in after Austin Schlotman got hurt, that's a lot. But maybe a full week of prep knowing that you're the guy, unless the Vikings of course say, we're going to start Manch right away. Having a full week of prep, I think that will put Chris Reed in a better position to succeed. But at this point, we want competence on the offensive line. I think Manch, he gives us that. My thoughts are with DeMar Hamlin. Suffered cardiac arrest during last night's Bills-Bengals game after making a tackle. Had to get CPR. Very scary stuff. Now, according to his friend and marketing rep, that is Jordan Rooney, he says of DeMar Hamlin that his vitals were back to normal but still undergoing testing. To go about your day doing what you love to suddenly fighting for your life, I I just pray that this man is okay. Please be okay. Um, he's got a toy drive uh, by his Chasing M's Foundation supporting children in McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania. Shout out to Tom Grossi for putting me on notice to that, tweeting that out and sharing it. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. If you can, please make a donation. I pray that this man is okay. This is bigger than football. We'll see you tomorrow.